Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what comes to your mind if you were given the words gun violence, mass shooting, firearm safety, and mental health, and had to come up with words to describe them? Well, this is what your peers came up with. My name is Zach, and I'm here to inform you, my audience, about gun violence and its subcategories. <clears throat> I asked some peers over the last two weeks or so about those four words and to ask them to give me the words that, that they felt described it when asked. Um, I've been working now on this for the entirety of the semester and I've become pretty familiar with the topic. First, we'll talk about gun violence. Secondly, we'll talk about mass shootings. After that, we'll talk about firearm safety and then mental health. So now let's jump into gun violence. Gun violence, discharge, it is discharge, it is drive-by, it is misfires, it is school shootings, it is danger, it is threat, it is caution, it is scary, it is adrenaline. What is it? It's gun violence. There are just, these are just some of the words that our peers use to describe gun violence in their eyes. The second topic is mass shootings. So mass shootings. It is Columbine, it is Las Vegas, it is Orlando, it is Sandy Hook, it is Borderline, it is slaughter, it is massacre, it is mass extinction, it is mass murder, it is scary, it is death, it is bullets, it is police, it is chaos. What is it? It is mass shooting. All of these are words or even places that come to mind when someone thinks of a mass shooting, whether they've been involved in one or not. The next topic we're going to cover is the firearm safety. So firearm safety, it is concealed carry. It, it is dealer records of sale. It is fingerprint. It is serial numbers. It is gun safes. It is proper training. It is proper teaching. It is knowing the firearm. It is defense. It is to be used in a safe environment. It is awareness of your surroundings and it is safety and responsibility. What is it? It is firearm safety. You know, these are some of the examples that are done to practice proper firearm safety to keep yourself and others safe at all costs. The last but not the least topic is mental health. Mental health. It is insanity. It is disorder. It is craziness. It is emotional. It is psychopathy. It is un unstable. It is shooting and it is an irregular idea. What is it? It's mental health. When I ask some peers, these are the words or examples they provided when they think about mental health in regards to gun violence. Now to conclude the creative writing speech, today I've talked to you about words and examples peers think about when given the words gun violence, mass shooting, firearm safety, and mental health. My purpose today was to inform you, my audience, about gun violence and its subcategories. Now looking back, um, would you agree with the words and or examples given by your peers? Thank you for taking the time out of your day to come and watch. Have a great summer. All right. What comes to your mind if you were given the words gun violence, mass shooting, firearm safety, and mental health, and had to come up with words to describe them? Well, this is what your peers came up with. My name is Zach, and I'm here to inform you, my audience, about gun violence and its subcategories. Excuse me. I have some peers over the last two weeks or so, um, each a word, and they gave me what they, what came to mind when asked. Um, I've been working on this now for an entirety of the semester, and I've become pretty familiar with the topics. First, we're going to talk about gun violence, then we'll go into mass shootings, and after that, we'll talk about firearms safely, safety and mental health. So now let's jump into gun violence. Gun violence, it is discharge, it is drive-by, it is misfires, it is school shootings, it is danger, it is threat, it is caution, it is scary, it is adrenaline. What is it? It is gun violence. These are just some of the words that our peers use to describe um, gun violence in their eyes. The second topic is mass shootings. Mass shootings. It is Columbine, it is Las Vegas, it is Orlando, it is Sandy Hook, it is Borderline. These are just some of the places that come to mind. Now it also is slaughter, massacre, mass execution, mass murder. It is scary, it is death, bullets, police, and chaos. It is mass shootings. 
All these are words or even places that come to mind that we think about when mass shooting, whether we're involved in it or just hear about it on the news. Third, we'll talk about firearm safety. Firearm safety is concealed carry, dealer record of sale, fingerprints, serial numbers, gun safes, it is training, it is teachers, knowing the firearm, self-defense, safe environments, awareness of your surroundings, and responsibility. These are examples of what needs to be done to practice and perform proper firearm safety to keep yourself and other people safe. Last but not least is uh, mental health. Mental health is insanities, it is disorders, craziness, emotional, instability, psychopathy, unstableness, shootings, and irregular activity. When I asked some peers, these are the words or examples I provided that they think relate to gun violence in regards to mental health. Now to conclude my creative writing speech, today I've talked to you about the words and examples peers think about when given the example of gun violence, mass shootings, firearm safety, and mental health. My purpose, was, my purpose today was to inform you, my audience, about gun violence and its subcategories. Now looking back, do you agree or disagree with any of the words or examples given by your peers? Thank you for taking the time out of your day to come watch. Have a great rest of your guys' summer.